Oh, do I have quite the explaining to do to you in this Bitcoin technical analysis video. Of course, I'm going to be explaining what I'm looking at next with the upcoming trade setups. But to start off with the allegations, and that was over off of the last video that I made here on YouTube, where I have been accused of being a liar. I called for $47,000. It went to $52,000 and now I'm bullish. You are a delusional liar. Wow, I mean, this type of accusation, of course, I need to come in and explain myself, explain what some people cannot see or maybe listen to when I'm doing these videos. And that's why it's so important to listen carefully, because as you can see, a lot of the other comments are enjoying the setups and even people recognizing the type of butterfly harmonic that I was talking about in these videos. But to start off, yes, was I a liar for saying $47,000 is my target. Well, a few things that I need to educate this person particularly on, but everybody listening, because it is very important nevertheless. And that is, I do believe Bitcoin can drop, yes, to $47,000. Have I ever said that that is going to happen immediately and an insane dump to the downside? No, I have never said that. When I was making my predictions, <laughs> while I was making my predictions of $47,000, while we were around $60,000, I was saying, be careful of this drop. We have seen weakness, but I have still always emphasized that for me, as we drop down to support levels, I will be looking for those long trade setups. I gave you those levels where I'm looking for the long trades, and now I want to go over what I'm looking at next. Of course, I am long from the naked point of control touch at 52,800. For me, that was a nice bullish reaction. And of course, I've already told all the champion members that I am long as soon as we hit that harmonic target, naked point of control target, one-to-one -one extension for the Elliott waves as well. So we had so much nice confluence as well as being oversold on Friday night, all came together to give me that long trade entry. So this is more of a potential swing trade where I'm looking to take it up to around and above $59,000. So just as I'm taking those more potential swing long trades, there are also scalp long trades to be had. This was during, uh, you know, a trade that I mentioned during a uh, live trading stream yesterday for the champions, reclaim $56,000. We get a nice little quick scalp trade. Of course, now we're trading at nearly $58,000. So these can run nicely. And overall, I still believe that 59,000 is coming. So there's just important things to note that although, yes, I believe yeah, absolutely we can hit $47,000, you're never going to catch me shorting down at support. I'm always going to be looking for the longs down here of where I feel there is nice high probability trade setups off of the lower term time frame reactions, such as this medium term time frame harmonic, lower term time frame trade setup reaction gave me the long trade entry. So I do disagree with the, uh, you know, the, the name calling of calling me a liar or a delusional liar at that. Um, I just really recommend everyone just listen carefully to what I'm saying. There are never any lies told. There is no deception to be done in these videos. I am truly here to help you to be honest and transparent with my trades and my analysis and just doing that in a way that, you know, I, I, I just, I'm here to try my best and, and, and I know the majority of you see that. So for that, I am happy and the rest of the comments, absolutely wonderful. So thank you for that. And so, yes, with this harmonic, I am obviously looking for $59,000 to come next. So let's zoom in a little bit on this chart. You currently see that we're trading at 57,900. So internally, locally here, let's say, we have what I feel is a high probability expectation of hitting the big target at 59,122. That is our daily, that is our overall range value area alone. Of course, we know all know the psychological levels that we have towards 60, 61.6. But the next zone for me between 59 and 60 is absolutely key. I feel that that is a major level for being tested. But again, just as, as I said, a, you know, a month or so ago, I feel 47K is a big target. Today, I'm saying $59,000 is a big target. But I will never say we are going to go there tomorrow. You know, this is happening now. I will say that for me, I will look for a long trade opportunity only on the retrace. Why is that? Because for me, at this price of $58,000, 
there's no interest in a new long. Even though I believe we're going higher, for me, this does not offer a good risk to reward ratio, high probability trade setup. For that, I will need to wait for a dip. Of course, I am in a nice position of already being long from, you know, more or less the low after the reaction of the S&P down there. And so with that, I would look to compound my already open existing long trade should we get a dip to the downside. And I'm happy to dip all the way down to 54,000, right? So for me, the more that we drop, the more that I'm going to be looking to compound and getting heavily interested in the long trade to bring it up to my higher targets. Just like when we hit these higher targets, and again, I will want to emphasize this, this is for me a zone where I'm checking the reaction. Should we reclaim 60,000 and flip it to support? Absolutely. We can be looking up for 40, you know, really, I would say $64,000 is absolutely achievable. Should we flip 60K into support? So for me, it's, it's a game of level to level, pro highly probabilistic trades. I remain very patient. And I think my examples that I give on stream of the level of patience that I am holding on these trades is something to pay attention to in terms of integrating that into your own trading setup. So I know a lot of people lose because of their lack of patience. And so, you know, just by me showing you this patience that I have, you know, waiting for these good trade setups, is something that I feel that you can learn from as well. So for me, yeah, to, to summarize what I am looking for here, I am expecting us to hit higher price targets, 59 to 60. Should we flip that into support? Then absolutely, there's no reason why we can't hit 64, $67,000. But I'm not going to look for 67K while we're below 60K, right? That doesn't make sense when we got a big resistance and important level above us. Why would I have such high price targets? I will accept those higher price targets only if and when we reclaim 60K on signs of strength and bullish order flow. Until then, well, this is my next resistance to the upside, which should we get a bearish reaction? Of course, I will look for those short trades. And with that, I would say this, I won't necessarily have the whole take profits only at 47K. For example, should we come up here at 59,000 and drop to 56.4? Well, naturally, then this is a internal lower term time frame long trade, where you can look for that scalp that then potentially ends in a day swing trade. So, the important thing that you need to understand is my style of trading is level to level. I am always up open to saying, hey, I was wrong on this. And so should we start to see reclaims and sign of strength? And I would say, well, I was wrong on having that lower uh, $47,000 target. For me, that is just part of trading. You're not always going to hit every target that you have. But you can see the positive position that I would be in. Should I be wrong? on $47,000 being hit, I will still make profits and money. How is that? Because when we hit our lower naked point of control target, although I'm targeting a rise before a drop, well, I'm still in that long trade. So should I be technically wrong on 47K coming, I'm still going to make profits because I longed when we hit a, and for me anyway, what was a nice support level. And so I really want you to understand that and how predictions per se can be wrong, but you can still make profits. Why? When you hit big support, you look for longs. When you hit big resistance, you look for shorts. You have invalidations and stop losses on those trades, and you learn to use the order flow to recognize signs of strength and signs of weakness. That is what's been giving us these big heads up over the past few weeks, you know, a few months, or a few years, you could say, right? It depends how much you've been paying attention. We've always been very focused on this order flow. And if you want to learn that, if you want these trade updates, you want to know when I'm getting into the trades, what I'm looking for next, the next levels, the live trading streams that we have, the daily updates that we have every day on stream, the AMAs, all of that content is via the champions level. And of course, within this, you can also get access to the whole educational library from, you know, beginner to master level, Elliott Waves, order flow, TPO, everything that you see us using on stream, myself, Igor and Severin, this is what we teach via our course. And of course, that's all included with the champions level membership. So I hope that you have enjoyed this stream. I hope that it's made sense. I hope the guy calling me a lie can understand how there were no lies told in my analysis. It has always been honest and truthful. As always, I hold myself to a high standard and I will always continue to do so. So yeah, hope that you've enjoyed. If you have, 
hit that like button, share out this video would always be appreciated. And yeah, if you want to leave a comment down below, maybe you'll get featured in the next video in a reply, but you will always get my support. Love comments and reactions because I read every single comment that comes in and I enjoy it. So thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day. And I hope this video has been helpful for you. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. If you want more, you know where to get it. Cheers. Have a good one. <laughs> that is now. Goodbye.